<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from my secret bunker on the plantation. Just got finished working out. Good to keep your health going, even in the midst of this coronavirus panic. However, I find it better because there's just not a lot of people around. So that's better for me. Anyway, as you can tell by the title to this video, a decision was made. Now, for those of you who might not know, me and the meat sack are essentially living as roommates. We were living as roommates up to this point. I had my waifu. I was good. However, she decides that she wants to move. And she told me, you know, we can move together. However, we're only going to be roommates. So at that point, I had a decision to make. Am I going to keep being this woman's essentially bailout plan? Essentially her pet wallet? Or am I going to, you know, take the hit and say, no, I'm not going to live like this anymore. Well, gentlemen, I took option number two. I said, you know what? No, I'm not going to live like a roommate with my wife. With the woman who I am legally married to, I am not going to live like that. We're not old enough to live like that. So no, you know, whatever comes is whatever comes. Life is all about choices and everything has a price. So no, I'm not going to live as your roommate anymore. Now, ironically, when I said that, she had a surprised look on her face. But at that point, I truly came into my own value and said, yes, I'm worth more than this. If you're going to look at me as nothing more than your roommate, then why the hell am I going to stay in this position? Why am I going to continue to do this? I'm essentially giving you money to help you with your life, but you're not giving me anything in return. This isn't a fair deal. So yeah, yeah, I'm about to go through my own small tribulations, trying to find a place to live and all that stuff. I mean, it's kind of a dick move how she pulled it off, you know, paid this month's rent, helped to pay this month's rent. But at the end of the month, she's moving out. So yeah, I got a couple of weeks to find and secure me a new spot. But you know what? In the end, I'm glad that I made the decision that I made because I have to have my own self-respect. For the longest time, I didn't. Now, for those of you who might not know, back in 2017, we went through the same thing. We decided to, you know, live in separate places. And at the time, I didn't know, you know, she was cheating and all that stuff. But, you know, that's neither here, neither here nor there because I was doing dirt, too. So at that point, I just said, you know what? Even Steven, chop it up. She did dirt, I did dirt. I'm going to call it even. Now, later on, I ended up moving to my home state because of some shit that I found out. So, of course, she starts calling me. First, she served me divorce papers and child support. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's get it over and done with. Then all of a sudden, you know, Oh, our son's going crazy, this, that, and the other. I can't control him, blah, blah, blah. So, like the dumb simp that I was, 
I decided, okay, you know what? I'm going to go back to try to mend things with my son and mend things with you. So for the last couple of years, I just essentially, you know, kept at it, tried to let her know, look, you know, I'm a good dude. I'm a good catch. I'm flawed, but I'm good. You know, so let's try to let's try to rekindle this thing. You know, that was a miserable fucking failure. So, yeah, gentlemen. Once you've walked away, just just stay away, you know, take the hit, take the hit, pay what you need to pay and go on about your business. Go rebuild your life. Go live your life. There's no point. No man who is married to his wife should be living in a roommate scenario. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, something that just came to mind. Common law marriage. Two single people can live together in the same place for a long time and then be considered automatically married. However, two married people can live apart for a long time and never be considered common law divorced. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, gentlemen, hey, it is what it is. Hopefully Lady Luck will be on my side. You know, go talk to my bank, see what they can do for me. But yeah, it was a dick move on her part. But you know what? At this point, I don't even care. I don't. And you know the best part about it? I told her in the end, you know what? I really want you to be happy. I truly do. I don't have the energy to even hate you. I don't even have the energy to dislike you. In the end, we just need to go our separate ways. So, of course, we got to stay in contact, you know, about our son. So it, that it, that's no big deal to me. We're not legally separated, nor are we divorced. So child support should not become an issue. However, if it does, then I've already let you know what my plan is. So we shouldn't even worry about that. But all in all, gentlemen, even though it's going to be tough for the next few weeks, possibly the next month, I wouldn't have it any other way. I really wouldn't. You know, I was faced with the pain of walking away or the pain of staying in a dead marriage. It's always good to just come to terms and just accept it and move on. So, yeah, I finally just accepted it. You know what? Cool. This is all you see me as. Then I may as well just take myself out of the equation. But yeah, let her know. So far as our son, you know, of course, whenever you need some time alone, shit, you know, send me a text. We'll meet up. You know, you can and he can come up, stay at my place. Not a big deal for me. But yeah, in so far as that. Yep. Time to go ahead and go through what little pain I need to go through and rebuild from there. Well, gentlemen, let me know what you guys think. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am...